Now, if you're anything like me, I absolutely love the summer and can't wait for the warmer weather to be here. So I thought I would do a summer inspired cake and recently Sweet Stamp bought out a new tropical themed stamp set. So I thought this would be perfect for this week's video tutorial. So I'm gonna be using this set and showing you how to make this tropical themed toucan cake. Now, Sweet Snap have kindly also given me a 10% off voucher code for all of you. So currently you can get 10% off any purchases on their website just by entering Cakes by Lins at the checkout. I will put all the links in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So in order to make my tropical cake, I'm gonna start with a six inch cake. Now this one is just five inches in height. Now I've covered this in some white fondant and just smoothed it down with my paddle smoothers and I'm gonna round that top edge with my flexi smoothers. Now I do have a full video where I show you in more detail how I cover my cakes. So I will put a link in the description below if you want to check that out. So I'm starting with my Sweet Stamp set. Now this is a Tropical Vibe set which has been designed by Sweet Bakes. And when you open it up, it's got loads of tropical leaves and flowers. Now on the main white part of the cake, I'm gonna be using the leaves. Now I'm just gonna take a small amount of fondant or just some blue tack and remove some of the leaves. Now, if this is the first time that you've used them, just make sure that you get out all the little bits of excess plastic. To pick these up, I've just got my Sweet Stamp Cupcake Pad just to place it over the top, and we get this little stamp that we can emboss on the side of the cake. So pick up all of these leaves individually and stamp them onto the side of the cake. Now, I'm gonna use a paddle smoother just lightly on the top, just to hold that cake still while I push my stamps in. So I'm gonna start with my first leaf and just lightly push that against the cake until the whole shape has embossed. Now I'm gonna go round the entire side of my cake, switching up so that I use different leaves. I'm just making sure that I fill all of those gaps. Now you really wanna be embossing these shapes onto your fondant when the fondant is still soft. The longer that you leave the fondant to dry, the harder it is to push the shapes in. So once all the space has been filled up, we're left with these really pretty tropical leaves all around the edge of the cake. Now I am gonna leave this for around half an hour just for that fondant to firm up slightly so that I can paint inside my shapes without pushing any brush marks. Okay, so now my cake is ready to paint. I'm gonna be using some green and yellow food gels. I'm gonna mix these with some alcohol to create a paint. Now instead of doing a flat color, I'm gonna use a combination of different shades of green just to give the leaves some depth. So just choosing one of the leaves and just painting inside those embossed shapes. have our first leaf. Now if you're finding that the colours aren't blending very well you can just pop a small amount of extra alcohol just on your brush and just go over them blend them all together. So I'm trying to add some darker shades towards the bottom of our leaves and go up to a lighter shade on the tips. Now I will put a list of all the green food gels that I've used in a list in the description below. <laughs> on the side of the cake. The next thing I'm gonna do is just transfer my six inch cake over onto a nine inch drum board and I'm gonna cover it with some white fondant. I'm also gonna pop a green satin ribbon around the edge that just matches some of those colors that we painted the leaves. Now I will put a link in the description below to a full video where I show you how I cover my cake boards in more detail if you wanna check that out. Okay, so sitting on top of my leaf covered cake, I wanna create a 3D toucan 
toucan which is surrounded by leaves. Now in order to give the toucan a little bit of a background I'm going to be using the blank canvas hexagon cake topper by Sweet Stamp. Now to make the background I'm going to cover this in some white fondant and add some of the flowers from the tropical vibe set. So we've just got this clear acrylic cake topper. I'm just using white because I want the flowers that we're going to add on the top to show up just like the leaves have on the cake. Now using the hexen cutter I'm then going to add a small amount of water just to the surface of that acrylic to make the fondant stick and carefully lift that up. Now I'm just going over the top with my paddle smoother just to smooth that against the surface and neaten up any of those edges. Now taking my tropical vibe set again as well as my leaves I also get a selection of flowers. Now there are two different sizes of hibiscus and these are the ones that I'm going to use on the cake topper. Just as I did when I was adding the leaves I'm going to use the cupcake stamp. Stamp some of those flowers into my fondant. Now I'm only doing this on one side of my topper and the reason for this is because I will be creating the toucan for the other side. Now once they're stamped in I'm going to go back in with my paddle smoother. Now just as I did with the leaves I'm going to paint inside the embossed area. Now I'm going to leave the middle just so you get the shape and I've got some yellows and some oranges and some pink food gels which I'm going to mix with a small amount of alcohol. I want to add the paints so we've got a lighter shade coming from the middle and just darkening as it gets to the end. So there we have the first finished hibiscus. And just as I did with the leaves, you just want to try and blend all the colours together. So I'm going in with first the yellow and then the orange and then going back in with some of that yellow, just blending the two together. So here we have the painted top up with the hibiscus flowers. Now I'm going to create the toucan that's going to sit in front but I also want to create some 3D leaves. So instead of them being embossed into the cake or in the topper I want them to actually sit on the top and look like real leaves. Now to create the 3D leaves I'm going to break off a small amount of gum paste or this is just some squires floral paste and roll this out. Now I want to roll it out around two to three millimeters in thickness so that I can push my shape into the leaf and it will end up around a millimetre. I can then take my craft knife and I'm going to carefully cut this out. Now if you do have some leaf cutters you could use these instead but this just means you only need to use one set to create all these different effects. Now as well as the outside I'm also going to cut out some of the shapes that is left on the inside. Once the shape has been cut out I'm going to go around the edge just with my ball tool just neatening that up. So I've just placed the leaf on my foam mat. You can also use your Dresden tool just to tidy up any of those edges. You then want to take your Dresden tool and I'm going to run it just lightly down the center. You can then pick it up and I'm just going to leave it to dry with a slight curve in it just to give us that 3D effect. And I can do exactly the same with some of my other leaf shapes. So here we have the selection of leaves that are created and they have all firmed up. Now as these are just one shade of green I want to add some different shades so that they'll match the way that we painted the leaves on the actual cake. So I've just got some edible tints. got a light green which is an apple green. I've got a foliage green, a woodland green and also a lemon yellow. So taking a fluffy brush I'm going to start and just add some darker green to the bottom. Work my way up, just getting slightly lighter, a small amount of yellow, and do that on all the leaves. Once they've been coloured, we're left with this selection of leaves that just have this gradient green shade. Now, the last thing to do is create the toucan and put the whole cake together. So, in order to make my toucan, I've got some black fondant. I've also got some brown. Now, with the brown, I haven't mixed the colour all the way through, so it's just got a slight marble effect. I've got some yellow, some red, some orange, and a small amount of blue. Now, to start with, I'm going to take the brown and I just want to create branch 
that chicken is gonna sit on. So just taking a ball of that brown, roll this out so that it's got a point on one end. Take your dresden tool and just run some lines up that branch. Now I'm gonna bring back in my cake topper. Now I'm not gonna stick anything down just yet, but I'm gonna use that to trim that off just as a guide so I know roughly how long it needs to be. So I've just got it coming in across the bottom of my cake topper and just add a few more dents. Push in my Dresden tool, in the appearance of a branch. Now it's time to work on the toucan's body. So I'm going to take some of my black fondant and this one measures around an inch and a half in diameter and just sits in the palm of my hand. I'm going to roll that into a ball, taper that down on one end, just flattening that down slightly. And that's going to be the bottom where he sits on top of the branch. I then want to do exactly the same to the other side, but I don't want it to come into a point. So I just want to thin it out, keeping it rounded on the top. And this is going to be his head. I'm going to pull that over just to bring his head round and just push my finger in where his neck's going to be. So when we bring back in our cake topper, just sitting around an inch from the top and just sitting on that branch. So we've got this kind of shape. So it's flat on the bottom, coming around with a curve on one side, dipping in slightly on the other side and just coming around in his head. Now I'm going to take my craft knife and on the front of his head cut in a triangle and this is going to give us space for us to add his beak. For his tail I'll take a really small ball, taper that down on one side so that we get a teardrop shape and just flatten that down. Separate this into three parts. So just pushing on the bottom, pulling all the way up. Now, lastly, to add onto his body, I want to add some wings. Now, I've got two balls of my fondant, and one is slightly bigger than the other. So, starting with the larger one, I'm going to do exactly as I did with his tail and just taper it down and just flatten that down. Place that just on one side, bringing it all the way down. Using my dresden tool, add some feather marks, just running all the way to the bottom. Now with the slightly smaller ball, taper this down, flatten it down, but instead of it being wide, quite skinny, add onto the other side so that it looks like part of his wing is tucked behind him. Again, just add in a few feather marks. So now we've got our main body. I'm just gonna bring back in the branch just to check it looks correct. Bring his tail all the way up and then just place the branch over the top. Now I want to create his face and his distinctive beak. To create the white markings that's going to go on his head and his chest, I'm going to take a ball of fondant. Now this one is around a centimeter and a half in diameter. Flatten that down. I'm then going to use my fingers and I just want to draw it out so we get an oval shape. So as you can see, it's slightly wider on the bottom and just comes up into this nice oval shape. So we're just looking to keep the black of his body on one side and for it to curve around over his face so I'm just going to trim into that where we cut out that triangle. If you find that your fondant isn't sticking then you might just want to add a small amount of water. I'm then going to take my ball tool next to where his beak's going to go. I'm going to use the small ball and just push in. I've then got a very tiny ball of blue fondant. I'm going to push inside and on top add in a very teeny piece of black and an even smaller piece of white. Now just on the top part of his head I've got some tangerine orange edible tin and just dust that on the top bringing it around his eye. For his beak I'm going to be using some of the black, orange, yellow and red fondant. Now when you look at toucans their beaks are all slightly different but they're just a combination of colours. So I'm going to start with my yellow and my orange. Now I've got two balls that are just over a centimetre in diameter and I'm I'm going to taper these two down and I'm going to join those together. Now I want a slightly red stripe on the top. Do exactly the same but with a smaller ball and just add that to the top. I also want him to have a black beak. Just make a circle that I'm going to wrap around the top half of my three colours. I want to make these so they're completely smooth so slightly squish that together and I'm going to start to roll this. So tapering it down as I did before, bringing it back in, squishing it back together and again rolling it through. Now I want some of that orange on the 
the bottom. So I'm just pulling it with my finger and I'm gonna take some of that black off. And you just wanna keep rolling it until you're happy how the colors have mixed together. Pulling that round, pulling it into shape. So I want it to come down at the point. Now we want this to sit inside. So cut in exactly as I did on his face. Now in order to join his beak onto his face, I just want a small amount of black. So I've got a ball, which is around half a centimeter in diameter. Roll that into a thin sausage shape and just flatten that down. And just squish that in place. Just making sure that it follows the shape just pushing that down with my Dresden tool. I just want to pop a line all the way through the center. The bottom half we want slightly smaller than the top half. A few texture marks onto the side. This is now ready to join onto his body. So I'm using some edible glue and I'm just going to pop that. Just making sure that that just joins together. Now I'm just taking a small amount of that orange edible tin. I'm running it down edge of his beak. Now to finish off the toucan I've just mixed some of the black fondant with a small amount of white and I'm going to pull off four little small balls. Now I'm going to taper these down and just using some edible glue just stick these onto my branch to so work out where your toucan is going to exactly sit and do two on the other side so that they just look like four little claws where he's holding onto that branch. Now, the last thing to do is put this together with my cake topper and then add it to my cake. So I've got my topper, I've got my toucan, and I've got the 3D leaves. Now, I wanna start putting my topper together while it's still laying down, so adding my toucan on the top. And the reason for this is because the toucan is quite heavy, I want him to have a chance to dry it before we tip it up. Now, with some of my leaves, I want some of these to come from behind the toucan, and then some of them I'm just gonna add onto the cake. So taking some of my leaves, I'm gonna start start by positioning these where I want them to go. Now to attach all these pieces together I'm just going to be using some royal icing. I then want to start assembling the toucan. I can then lift my toucan into position and just match him up with the feet. Now before I stick him down I want to add some of these leaves coming from behind him. I'm going to add a small leaf coming from that branch add in some leaves so it looks like it's coming from behind the branch. So there we have the start of our topper. So I'm just gonna take my topper and just push this into my cake. I then just want to use a small amount of royal icing just to attach some of the other leaves. Now, the last thing I'm gonna add onto the cake are just some really pretty tropical plumeria flowers. Now, I do have a separate tutorial where I show you exactly how to make these. So if you wanna add these to your cake, then I will put a link in the description below. So here we've got the finished tropical cake. Now, you just wanna have a play around until you're happy with the position of the leaves and the flowers. I have removed one of the leaves from around the back just because I thought it looked better to keep them surrounding the toucan. So we've got the cake with our painted leaves all the way around and our 3D toucan against our cake topper that has been painted with these hibiscus flowers. We've also got the 3D leaves and the pretty plumeria flowers. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this Tropical Vibes cake and will enjoy using some of these elements in your own baking. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, this, then make sure you head over to the video section on the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button as this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. Also don't forget you can currently receive 10% off your purchases on the Sweet Stamp website just by entering Cakes by Lins at the checkout. So until next time, bye!